what is up guys welcome back to the channel this is the humble lector and finally we have the no way home set i got this about a few days ago and i'm finally into my review i know it's been some time since i reviewed on the channel but i'm really excited to get this figure so yes without further ado we're gonna start off this whole set here with the tom holland final suit swing spider-man so with this let's get right into it so we're gonna start off here with the packaging look and i really like this no way home set it does give you the retro kind of style and yeah you have the figure right off the box you can see all the accessories all the blemishes or the defects if there's any and also on the back here it looks really cool with the artwork so over here it says spider-man is peter parker oh surprise surprise our friendly neighborhood web slinger is unmasked no longer able to separate his life as a high schooler from the high stakes world of being a superhero so that is awesome and yes now let's just unbox this bad boy up all right so here we have the spider-man tom holland figure and i got to say he actually looks super super cool i think the suit on this i was actually a bit skeptical with the blue color because if we see it in the movie it was actually quite vibrant but this one wasn't too bad especially if you compare it to the shf uh, leak images that one looks a bit more shiny so you can actually chrome it up a little bit more and other than that i know this figure does come with a lot of issues because a lot of people complaining that the joints were tight and all that so on so i had to actually heat this figure up just put it into some warm water to loosen up those joints before it becomes all stiffened up and also one of the major major defect that i know people had with this figure is of course the face mask so as you can see from mine mine so far looks all right you can see a little bit of some paint not following through on the sides but not too bad i would say i know a lot of people on the front here had a lot of issues but i got to say this mask here looks very very comic accurate and i do love the painted web lines that goes through his face here very very nice i remember when i was a kid i like to draw spider-man's mask and this is how it actually looks so that is the first accessory here. We have the normal Tom Holland head, which uh, is the same one as the Net 2 pack. And we also have this one here as well. And we have the closed fisted hands. We also have the trip tip hands over here. So you can see both sides also with the web lines. And also we have the wall crawling hands. So this is really awesome because this one does come with an actual full set here. So now I'm going to look at this figure as it is and I got to say he just looks really really awesome. You can see that with his web lines it's all jutted out so you can see and there is some texture to his red body here which is really really cool. And you can see that it is following of course with the similar one to Toby's suit. So very very nice and also on the back here you can see that the spider legs does follow through on his back very awesome color and also on the front here we have the spider logo i did wish that it was a little bit bigger for my liking but uh, that's just me and what i'm gonna do right now is to switch up those hits and boom this is the spider-man that we've been waiting for we of course did wish that this came with the three pack but you know it is what it is and this one still looks really really awesome i think this is one of the best mcu or maybe the one of the best spider-man figures here because you can actually put him into your comic lineup which does look really really awesome and yeah i mean this is just really nicely done all pinless as you can see here super new all the joints are new everything's all really awesome and yeah just looking back at his body i like the chrome finish on him as well all right so with that being said now let's go on to articulation so in terms of the head movement here we have a dumbbell joint only and surprisingly they don't put all these slits here similar with the andrew and toby as well they could have done it like the with the retro Spider-Man to give it a bit more range but it is what it is so you can look up all the way this much here you can look down this much and of course you can rotate it and give a little bit of some hinge mechanism of here and of course going on to the arms you get a nice t-pose here very very beautiful of course you can rotate it as much as you want there is of course a butterfly joint so you can shift it back and forwards and of course you have a bicep swivel and I know a lot of people broke this part over here it is a little bit tight 
So like I mentioned before, I do advise you to warm up your figures before you go around and play with them. And of course, we go on to the double jointed pinless elbows here, which I know goes back very, very nicely, as you can see there. And of course, you do have a nice hinge here, rotation and hinge up and down. Same thing for all the other hands. And now let's go on to the upper torso. You can crunch forward this much, which isn't too bad. So as you can see here, very, very nice movement. Backwards here as well. As you can see, there is a little bit of a gap there, not too obvious. And I do like that the web lines do follow through. And of course, you have the lower torso as well. So it's able to crunch forward this much and backwards all the way here. Amazing, amazing. Really liking this figure a lot. Of course, if we go down to the legs here, you can, of course, spread out this much. And you can kick forward here very, very nicely. And there is a drop down hip here, which is really, really cool. So you have that. You have the upper thigh swivel as you would. This was also very tight out of the box. So again, warm up the figures. And going on to the double jointed knees here. So that goes back very, very nicely. And surprisingly, we don't have a boot swivel here, which is a missed opportunity, but we do have very, very good ankle pivots here and a good switch hinge mechanism here. And for size comparison here, we do have him at about the six inch mark. Okay, and of course, the main thing that you guys want to see all the MCU figures here from Spider-Man. I think I got almost all of them. I know there are some two packs and whatever so on. But these are basically all the suits that he wore. Starting with, of course, the Civil War edition, which does look really, really cool. And it was re-released. We, of course, have the homemade suit. Really awesome. This one was also was pretty cool with the jacket and all that. And also we have the homecoming here as well. And yeah, I mean, it looks really nice. And we had the latest one as well from No Way Home before this is the final battle. We also have Iron Spider and all this other stuff. And I gotta say, all of them do look pretty cool but you cannot compare to the super classic suit Spider-Man. And here I have him next to some updated Spider-Man ones here. We have the Ben Riley, which is on the Renew Your Vows body mode. We also have the retro Spider-Man here as well with the pizza Spider-Man head. And here he is next to the Jetta Toys Rio, an absolute beast of a figure. And also we have Ken from the SHF line. And also I do have the Mayfax Stealth Suit Spider-Man right next to him. All right, so that is it with the Final Swing Spider-Man set. And of course I like to put them into like the wall crawling poses and all that. And this one here isn't too bad. I only of course am disappointed with the head. And yeah, this is a really great and awesome figure to have. So for rating on this, I'm definitely giving him a solid, solid 9.5 out of 10. The only thing that is probably missing is of course the head movement. But other than that, this is an absolute great, great figure from this whole wave and absolutely great way to start this whole wave. So yes, if you guys enjoyed this video, do click the like and smash the subscribe button down below. These are just from all my thoughts. Leave yours in the comment section. So if you guys want to see more of this, you can follow my channel and also follow me on my Instagram at the Humble Lecture. I will see you guys in the next one.